So economy yetu tukienda mbele. Mimi na warai na wasihi. Tuta, tukue na agenda ya kuangalia ni viongozi gani watasimamia mambo ya kiuchumi sawa tukienda mbele. Na mimi nataka niwaambie chama cha ANC Amani National Congress we have the capacity to lead the country in the right direction without fear or favor without discrimination without ethnicity tushikane na tufanye kazi na kila mtu kwa sababu tumechezewa hata sasa why i'm happy to come here and launch kwa sababu vyombo vingine vya habari na sitaki kutaja majina tayari vimewekwa kwa mfuko and they want to give the impression that this country can only be led by X or Y. They don't want other people to know that there are other leaders in this country. Because their professionalism has been compromised. They are no longer objective. They are trying to force us into a particular direction. Na ndio kwa sababu mimi nasema kama wa Kenya as we enter 2022 we should not allow ourselves to be intimidated we should not allow ourselves to be bullied we should not allow ourselves to shurutishwe at lazima awe mtu fulani ama mtu fulani let us choose independently yeah. let us choose independently let us make that decision if we fail, if we will have made a wrong decision, let us say we made the wrong decision and I blame myself because I made that wrong decision. We should not create room for 2022 for other people to have scapegoats. Kusema kwamba we were forced to vote for so and so when we did not want to vote for so and so. Let us be independent. If it is a mistake, let it be our mistake. But you will not be able to excuse yourself if you are intimidated and you make a choice and then later you come and tell us we did not want that choice, but we were forced to make that choice. Wait, 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 wait. To see Danganyane. Let us make the decision because we believe in that decision. <laughs> Let us vote for that MCA because we believe in that MCA. All the qualities in that MCA. The MP the same. The woman rep the same. The governor the same. The senator the same. The president the same. Vote because you believe in that person. Do not vote because you have been intimidated into that corner. That is my message, and DISEC and other media houses, you have a major obligation to open the political space for these Kenyans. If politicians are trying to compress the political space, the media should not be part of it. There should not be that conspiracy. Let it be a conspiracy of politicians, but let the media come out honestly and independently and open the space where politicians are trying to constrict it. Ukiwa kwa shule, we always look forward to competitive politics, competitive processes. Ato kiweka tender, you want competition. Ili upate na fasi ya kushinda hiyo tender. Na tunataka iwe professional. Kwa hivyo, my first plea Kwa dissect TV and radio. Do not compromise on your professionalism. Musimame imara, muwe independent. Mutu asimutumie vibaya. Mutu asutumie your investment, your sweat for the last 14 years. Do not allow somebody to drag your reputation in mud. Don't allow it. Hatutaki fake news Kwa sababu siku hizi mumeona fake news imeja Kwa siyasa, kwa biashara 
hata kwa kanisa watu wanacheza hata social media fake news imejaa kwa hivyo mimi na wasihi na warai basic media services one of your pillars must be to make sure that Kenyans are not fed with fake news tunataka ukweli na mimi nataka tujenge Kenya nzuri tuwe na uchumi ambao utafaidi kila mtu tuwe na dissect nyingi tuone wana wameajiri over 50 people let us have other institutions doing the same tunataka tuone kwamba yule mkulima wa majani chai kutoka Muranga hapa anapata full benefits of the sweat tunataka tuone yule wa makademia yule wa kahawa na mfanye biashara yuko sawa tunataka tusikie kwamba ushuru ambao unatozwa unatozwa kwa sababu tunataka Kenya imarike na ajiri patikane zaidi tunataka jasho yako kama mfanye biashara kama mkulima iweke pesa kwa mfuko wewe hujaajiriwa na KRA kwani kila kitu unapata leseni biashara zako mazao yako ya majani chai KRA inachukua kila kitu hapana we must create an economy where we all can pay taxes and we should pay taxes but at the same time we must have enough to remain in our pockets for our dignity for our own food for our dress for our shelter because hiyo ndio sisi tunasema uchumi bora na pesa mfukoni mimi nasema hivyo kwa sababu wanenaji hapa walitaja fujo ambayo ilikuwa kwa 2007 2008 na paka watu wakaumia mimi nataka niwaambie kwamba one of the biggest problems in 2007 2008 ilikuwa vyombo vya habari kutoa alarming statements ambazo wanatoa kwa wanasiasa ambao hawajithibitisha chochote 